cool. Um, if you're not ready to go now, then you ain't gonna never be ready to go. Um, we're excited. Uh, we all we're still learning from one another. Uh, it's a big season for us. Uh, on and off the court. Um, you know, we're gonna be challenged a lot. We're gonna be challenged a lot, and I think uh, our young guys are ready for the challenge. Uh, you know, they put in a lot of work all summer. Coaches have pushed them. The players have pushed each one another. So we're ready. Back at media day, you gave yourself, I think, a D minus for your play from last year. To this point now, as you're repairing, how do you kind of feel? What, what are you grading yourself right now through the uh, in the preseason, as it were? How do you feel going into the year? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll determine that November 12th, uh, first game of the season. Uh, I think that's the that's the benchmark. Uh, scrimmages, you know, as hard as touched on. Scrimmages were okay. Uh, uh, I think the the time that we spent over China. Um, the time that we've been spending in the gym, I think it's, I think it's really hard. Uh, now, I myself, uh, my job is, my job isn't as simple as, as others. Uh, nobody's job really is simple on, like, on this team. We all have various facets that we're really good at. We have to exploit that. Um, but I don't know. November 12th would be. I give myself a great November 12th. How would you define your job? Uh, Got to get others involved. Point guard, you have a lot of responsibilities. If you don't fulfill those responsibilities, you're not going to play. You got to defend, you got to rebound, you got to talk on defense, you got to, even on offense, I mean, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. So uh, last year, a lot of the um, leadership was built by Chris and Austin. Jason's now a senior captain. But how have you seen him kind of grow into that role of, you know, leading you guys by verbally on the court? Um, this is Jason's team. It's his time. He, he's been here three years, and he's been waiting for this opportunity to be our guy. And it's his time to be the guy. Um, you know, his freshman year with Greg Monroe, sophomore year with Greg Monroe, his junior year with Chris and Austin. It's the Jason Clark show, man. Um, and I think we'll, I think a lot of people are going to see a different Jason Clark this year. Already aggressive, but an even more aggressive. Jason Clark, scoring defensively, and he's going to be he and, he and Hollis are going to be the focal guys. Um, and it's our, and it's my job and some of the other job to get these guys involved and put them in opportunities to make plays. He told me a story yesterday. He said that some of the freshmen early on in the, in the summer were showing up like a minute or two before a lift. He said he pulled us up, pulled them aside, and said, "Hey, and that's how we do it here. Right. Early, you know, on time is 15 right. minutes early. Do you that's remember right. that? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, plenty. Of, I mean, he used to have to get on me yeah. when I was a freshman. Okay. Even still now, yeah. um, he, he used to really. I mean, I think that was probably good that we were uh, we were roommates on the road because I used to I used to always be late, mm -hmm. and then he he kind of taught me that through not even through so much the talking, yeah, just showing you know showing is better than talent, right? Um, and he he just led by example. I mean, he's a good leader. He's mm -hmm. he's our guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can stress that enough, but he, he's the guy. Yeah. Jason Clark is the guy. Yeah. Cool. Does anyone need uh, Jason anymore? Yeah, look, yeah. Look, look, Jason. Okay. Thanks. A couple more of Markel, and then we got Nate Wilson here. Let's talk about these first Jay, you want to step back up to the front? Obviously, you guys be heavy favorites. And the expectation is you're going to win them. But what do you want to learn about yourselves in these first couple games before you go to Hawaii? Um, but each, we, we want to take each, every game is no no game is bigger than the other. Uh, right now, I'm not even focused so much to focus on my uh, my focus right now is on Savannah State. Um, now, when we go on to play in Savannah State, we want to we want to show what we've been working on. We want to show people, you know, a different Hoya. Hoya is inside. Um, honestly, um, if I had to put it, if I had to describe it. Uh, we go into each game prepared. We, we don't go to any games unprepared. Uh, we pretty, our, our coaching staff come up with a very good game plan, how to defend, how we're going to have opportunities to score. It's just if we exploit those, then we're going to be fine. If we don't, we're not. Um, but Savannah State is our main objective right now. And I think, honestly, I think uh, so much that, that we want to prove that we, we, we don't have to depend on the guys that left. We want to we want to show that we can we have guys here that can put the ball in the hole that can defend that can do other things in place of those guys from last year. From that standpoint, how big is it for you guys to get off and set a tone right away on Saturday? 
very important. Um, we're the laughing stock of college basketball, in my opinion. Um, because we're young, you know, freshmen, it's, who, who is who is this Markel Stocks kid? Um, is Jason Clark going to be able to do this? Is Hollis Thompson going to be able to do that? We're the laughing stock, and that's fine. Uh, I think it doesn't it doesn't put a, it puts question marks on all of our backs because Georgetown basketball is normally on the high pedestal. And, and we want to we want to we want to put it out there that everybody know Georgetown basketball is still here. We, we're not running from any from. From, from many Is it better to kind of play like that with a chip on your shoulder, wanting to prove people wrong? Um, I wouldn't say it's better. I think I think we all individually have our own goals, um, but as a team, we have a collective goal, and as a collective, we all have chips on our shoulders.